Hello everyone and welcome. Here is the effect that we will be making today. So let's take a look at the shot that we're working with today. So we are using a gas blowback pistol. And that's why the slide goes back and locks. So now we have the orange tip. Let's keep playing forward. You can see that it was in focus. And as we go, it does go out of focus. And then it moves out of frame. Okay. With our layer selected, go to animation and track in Mocha AE. And let's name it tip. Now let's go to the moment when we see the orange tip. Okay, right there. Now let's take the uh, X spline layer tool here and let us go around the orange tip. There we are. Now because there's a lot going on here with the shot going out of focus, let's start it going fade by right frame. So the player head on the right is for tracking by frames, the one on the left is for just playing all the way through. Okay, so we see that we lost it for a moment there, but that's all right. So we can put it back on. So now with that done, let's go up a frame and see how that holds. And that looks like it took. So let's play the way forward. Okay, great. So everything's tracked in Molka, and we see it does go off the frame a little bit, but that's okay. So let's go down here and click Export Tracking Data, and then copy to clipboard. Now let's go back into After Effects, and make sure we go onto the first frame. Then let's go to Layer, New, Null Object. Hit Control V on your keyboard, and you'll see all that tracking data is placed into the clip. Now let's go to the frame where we see the orange exposed. So right about there. Let's turn off the null object so we can see what we're doing. Great. Let's go to Layer, New, Solid. Now take your eyedropper tool and select the inside of the gun. If you if the shot you have doesn't have that, just select anywhere on the gun as long as the color matches the gun. Let's click in there and then click OK. So now we see everything is black. So what we have to do is let's go to our solid that we just created and let's name that hide orange. Let's go in there transform and let's lower the opacity just so we can see what we're doing now let's zoom in and what we're going to do is we're going to use this solid to hide the orange and we use the color of the gun so it matches the scene so go to the pen tool up here and let's zoom in and let's click around and make a mask of the orange tip there. Great. Let's turn up the opacity. With the orange solid selected, let's trim that a little bit because it shows up before, as you see there. Let's trim that. Hold down Alt, left bracket. And you see it disappears. Now, to get a better idea of what this mask looks like, Let's uncheck this here, toggle mask and shape path. And it looks a bit rough, but that's okay. Let's go into the solid, go to mask, and let's feather that just a bit. There we go, that looks good. Great, let's close that up. And let's go back with the lasso tool here with your solid selected. Drag the lasso tool to the null object where the tracking data is, and now, should be tracked but it's a little off so we do have to do some tweaking let's take a look at it so first few frames are good one two looks like the third frame it gets a little messed up that's just part of movie making sometimes you have to do things by hand a little bit 
So let's go to the previous frame before it gets messed up and check this box down here, mask path. What we're going to do is we're going to make a keyframe for when it changes shape. So let's go up one frame and now it gets messed up. But since we have that keyframe, we can adjust the mask and it will adjust itself accordingly as the video plays. So let's turn the toggle mask shape back on. And now let's move the points to where we want them to be now. the opacity back up. All right. Now let's play that and you can see it stays. Let's make sure everything's working okay. And by the way to go frame by frame let's page up and page down on your keyboard. Great. So it looks like everything's tracked pretty well. Let's let it play through and see how it looks. Okay, so it does drop off a little bit towards the end. So we're going to do the same thing as before. Press H on your keyboard for the hand tool that lets you move things around. All right, let's take a look where we're at here. Let's see if we can pinpoint the moment. Let's do right there because we can fix that mask a little bit. off camera and to close that solid up alt right bracket there. turn the opacity back up and let's take a look at the whole thing now okay not bad but we do have to address one thing and that is the gun goes out of focus and we want that orange tip to do that as well so let's close this up so now let's go to effect blur and sharpen and gaussian blur and what we can do here is much like the mask we can keyframe when we want it to be blurry so let's start here we keyframe that and let's see if we can find the point when it starts to lose focus. So I would say right about here it does. Let's increase the blurriness of that mask. And you can see now it's starting to get blurry. Gun goes back a little more. Let's see if we can increase that a little more. You can hold down shift on your keyboard as you adjust this. You can, you can drastically increase it. Great. So now we have that keyframe. And watch the numbers up here as we go through the clip. That was at 14, 22, 44, and so on. So now we got that done. Let's play the whole thing back. Great, so now we have the orange tip of the gun hidden. In the next video, we're going to be adding a muzzle flash to this to complete the effect. Now, if you did like this video, be sure to like and subscribe where I'll be releasing more videos like this as well as some of my own independent films. So once again, thanks for watching.